Please subscribe to Techno UF and don't forget to like and share with your friends. Hello, my dear family members. If you have very bought AI based interview of LTI Mind Tree and if you have questions like is this an elimination round? Is there any other interview like after this will I have to face TR or HR round? And what are the questions they are asking in? AI based interview and how to prepare for very bot interview. Let me discuss all of these answers with live practice so that you can prepare well. Okay, just before that, guys, one request to you I have been uploading these videos for you only having risk in involved here. Okay, so please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and let me know which content you want more. I'll give importance to your comment. Okay. Hey, you for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door now let me discuss from the very beginning that is is this an elimination round the answer is a uh, big yes why because there are thousands of applications pending and they are trying to hire lesser people with higher quality okay so that's why they have introduced these additional round that is called very bot ai based interview and here people will get shortlisted and people will uh, get eliminated as well now they will just hire uh, 60 to 70 percent people after this round and the next question is is there any other interview yes is there any other interview yes the answer is a big yes after this round ai based interview you will have to face a panel of interviews like tr round and hr round it is clearly mentioned in their email on 27th of september okay and the interviews are going to be held from 1st of october so please start preparing for the technical round where humans are present okay and the next question is what are the questions they are asking what are the questions they are asking i'll discuss a little bit later just wait and how to prepare for very bot interview i'll also explain a little bit later now the very biggest questions about technical round and hr round where humans are taking the interview is this going to be held in person or in virtual mode so let me answer that earlier what happened they had taken the interview in tier 1 tier 2 college in person but for tier 3 college they had taken the interview virtually okay so you can expect uh virtually most probably but start preparing for both situations okay now let me discuss what are the real questions they are asking actually at first they are telling introduce yourself then they are asking about project and then they will ask you questions from cv or resume nothing else and then some resume uh, resume based questions also and project based questions and then situation and based questions and at the end coding questions they will ask very easy coding questions i'll share just wait and watch till the end okay now the question is how to prefer if you want to get to know about the live video if you want to face the real situation then please consider the prime materials where we have already included the earlier interview experiences of successful candidates also all the technical questions hr common questions are available there so please consider this it will be very much helpful for you so the link will be given in the description box or in the comment section you can see the feedback of students here also you can see the feedbacks of students we provided below so please consider that it will be helpful for you only okay now let me discuss the questions so just to go at chat gpt okay go at chat gpt you know after this mic button there is soda use voice mode so click on that you can practice all of the questions i have pasted my resume and it will ask me questions from my resume and including from the very beginning okay and it has 15 minutes free features so please utilize all of this time Question one, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, good morning. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Yubike Anna. I have completed my BTEC in computer science. I was born in ABC state. My key skills are in Java and web development. And as part of my academics, I worked on project where I built a to-do list website. This helped me gain practical experiences in front 
end and back end development apart from academics my hobby is the reading which helps me stay focused and learn continuously i consider myself a good learner and adaptable to different situations which i believe i will uh, help me adjust it will help me adjust uh, well in any work environment i'm eager to contribute my skills and grow along with this organization so i hope you will consider me that was a fantastic introduction uh now let's we want to the next question question two what is the difference between equals and dot equals in java okay so uh, double equals checks reference equality whether two references point to the same object or not and in case of dot equals method it checks contained equality uh, equality whether two objects have the same value or not exactly that's a clear and concise explanation uh question three what is the difference between array list and linked list in java okay so array list is backed by a dynamic array provides fast random access but slower insert or delete operations in the middle but in case of linked list is a uh, is a doubly linked list provides uh faster insertions or deletions operations but slower random access array list uh, you can say it is a dynamic resizable array uh, array list uh, which helps us to input values dynamically and it is very uh, helpful for us great explanation uh, you covered the key differences very well uh, question 4 in your to do list project how would you store tasks in java uh, i would i would use a list uh, let's say array list task where task is custom class with attributes like id description status like complete completed or pending or closed etc and created date perfect that's a solid approach to organizing tasks uh question 5 what challenges did you face while building your to do list website well uh, handling data persistence was a challenge initially i used local storage but i late uh, later thought that uh, i should integrate a backend like java mysql for permanent storage and multi user support That's a great insight and a very practical solution. Uh question 6. Suppose your to-do list app is slow to load, how would you optimize it? So at first uh, we should minify and bundle the CSS and JS files. We should use the fetching instance or lazy landing uh, loading of a task and cache frequently used data and also optimize database queries which use indexes. Excellent strategies. Those would definitely help improve performance. Uh question 7, what is the difference between ID and class in HTML? Well, uh in case of ID, it is unique and used to identify a single element and in case of class, uh in case of class, uh, it can be used on multiple implement uh, elements for styling and grouping. If you tell me, if you ask me then I'll I can give you some examples with syntaxes. That's perfect. Your explanation is spot on. Um and examples would Definitely add clarity if needed. <laughs> uh you did an awesome job answering all these questions. If you need more practice or have any other questions, just let me know. So this way you can practice through Sora. Just use chatgpt.com and there you can find this a uh, platform where you can practice up to 15 minutes which is free. So if your uh, time is exhausted then please use another account and try to practice. So your pronunciation, your use of different phrases all of these matters okay now second important tool which will help you a lot that is app.smalltalk2.me i will paste the link in the description box so please go through that just uh start the conversations okay and it will ask you to introduce yourself and walk me through your resume if you answer these if you answer these then they will rectify and they will give a proper feedback like how much phrases of words you have used in your in interview and what are the uh, weak point in you and what are the strengths in you they can also uh, identify that and they will give feedback of how much uh, com- like uh, complicated words complicated sentence you are using if your sentences are well mannered or not all of these are very matters right so these are rectified and these are given by 
app.smalltalk2.me so please practice through this website it will be helpful for you it is not fully free but it is enough how much it is available for free it is enough so please practice through this it will be helpful okay now let me discuss about the next very important thing very very important thing that is if you are preparing for higher packages then after this interview ai based interview you have to face these interview like hr interview and technical round interview and you have to know that you have to know that my when i was giving that technical round and hr round in our career in our campuses that time my friends got eliminated in hr round so no one can think about that so please be prepared in such a way so that you don't have to face this situation so if you want to prepare through the best technical round questions and best hr questions then please consider the best materials at topmate.is/technonus.uf where we have included all technical questions which can be asked from c++ java python dbms sql coding questions operating system networking machine learning cloud computing managerial questions hr questions all of these are available here so these type of pdfs you will get so please go through the link given in the description box or in the comment section it will be helpful for you only okay and it is not for only lt entry it is for all the mnc's you are preparing for okay so i forgot one thing that is what ai is asking about coding uh what i got that is uh they are asking to write a code to add let's say this is a functions okay and this is the functions name and there is two arguments m and n okay you have to write a functions to add these arguments nothing else okay so this is the code you have to write in the compiler they will they will ask you to share your screen and write the code in front of the ai agent okay so this is the uh, i think this is the enough for today's session so if you found this video helpful guys please consider to subscribe this channel and please share this content with your friend and also let me know which content do you want more if you have got the mail or not please comment down and if you have not received the mail then please wait they can give you the mail by slot wise okay and please let me know if you want me to upload more technical round hr editor hr round interview questions of ltm entry or should i move forward to the another company's content thank you for today's session guys